do you like horses like I do? Then this place will be perfect for you. Welcome to Wellington, winter equestrian capital of the world. Let me introduce myself. I'm Katie with Real Estetica, and just last video I came up with the official title for myself. I'm your local real estate guide. If you've been here before, welcome back to my channel, and I hope you're gonna like this video too. Wellington is among my top three favorite locations to show the properties when people are looking to buy primary residence. I'm gonna definitely tell you why, so, but the most important thing that I would like to tell you that here you can actually get a great quality for the price you pay, especially when we compare it to the other cities nearby. You would probably ask me why I'm not wearing cowboy boots if I'm in Wellington, uh, because I heard the best place to get them is in Texas. Um, very questionable. I probably also gonna try to find the shoe store <laughs> here today once we are filming this. But let's get back to the community. So I love selling Wellington. It is usually among three top spots when I'm showing people houses for them to get as their primary residence and if they have a family with kids. You can get here bigger square footage and higher quality for the same or even lower price than in some of the neighborhood cities that are more popular. You're gonna see that people love horses on each and every corner of Wellington. Here's just one example of this uh, beautiful art and it is still available for purchase. Technically, Wellington, it's not even the city, it's a village. However, I cannot physically call village a place um, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because one of the most famous residents of Wellington is actually Steve Jobs' family, Michael Bloomberg's family. And the coolest thing that you probably didn't know before that Bill Gates purchased not the one property, but the whole street for his daughter, who is seasoned WEF competitor. For me, Wellington is a lot about community living. Right now, I'm at the center of Wellington. Um, by the way, it may be super important uh, for those of you who are into recycling. Uh, they use reclaimed water for irrigation throughout the uh, center. As I said in the beginning, Wellington is a winter equestrian capital of the world. What it means? That festival that runs from January till April actually involves any level of horse riders from Olympian to beginner. Also, it is known like the longest running equestrian event in the whole world. You'll be surprised, but most of the people who live in Wellington don't have a horse. <laughs> There are much more important factors for you to consider this to play as a place to live or move with your family. Wellington schools are top rated, like all level of them, from elementary to high um, school. Um, they are top rated schools and all of them are public. If you uh, prefer to have a private option, there is also a handful of private school, uh, schooling options in the area. In terms of spending time with kids, right now we are at the Scots Place Playground. It is for a long time my favorite place to come and enjoy with kids. It is cool for the kids different ages because there is a playground for younger kids, also the place to eat, to have like a picnic and to do all kind of like sport tricks that for example my elder daughter does right here on the grass. Also, they do run some very important city events right here at the stage behind me. Even if you don't have kids, choosing a great school district when you buy a property is a smart decision because it's gonna keep your property value up. If you're gonna be looking for things to do, the important point that I would like to um, underline that it is simply 20-25 minutes from West Palm Beach with its great variety of uh, high-end restaurants and cultural events. However, it may seem from the beginning that Wellington does not have as much things to, inter for, to entertain the residents um, as West Palm, but actually there are quite a few interesting spots to hang out. One of them is the aquatic center that I'm going to show you here. Why it is important? Aquatic Complex is 
one of the family's favorite in Wellington. The complex features a 10,000 square foot building with administrative offices. In Wellington, everything is about horses, as much that they put even the seahorse on the logo of their aquatic complex. The only probably disadvantage that I find myself as a mom of two kids, a person who looking always for great um, uh, spots to live and to hang out, that the Wellington is not actually on the water, but to be honest, in each and every community, you're gonna find as much lakes as you need to cover your like waterfront and water view. I'm just now sitting here and realizing the fact that um, as I'm from the small town in Ukraine, um, this is probably as much water as I've seen in my life till the age of 14, probably when I saw like the sea first time. <laughs> and now I know that the uh, ocean exists. Oh my God, um, life changing, but still love the view. I counted 26 parks in Wellington itself to spend your time with kids and families. If you're looking for more options, I would definitely recommend you, and it is my family favorite, is Lion Country Safari. It is super convenient. Sometimes in Florida, we are looking for more spots uh, to have the option to hang out, not only outside. This is comfortable because even if you're going there in summer, you're gonna be driving through the most of the territory in your own car. And then you can like get out of the car, already go to the vet areas, to the kids playground and to see like uh, smaller animals. So this is my uh, definitely recommendation. And for more adventures uh, uh, connected to water, go to Rapids Water Park. It's uh, simply like 10 minutes driving from here. Describing the food scene is probably my favorite part for any video and neighborhood that we were once filming. And Wellington, as I said earlier, has quite a few spots that I can recommend. Kalus or Kalus, I'm not sure, <laughs> right? But this is my top choice for you to go to dine. There, um, probably one of the best mac and cheese with truffle that I ever tried in my life. Fry rims are great, filet mignon great. So like all the meat and dining situation here, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna regret if you're gonna come. Then we're gonna talk about the Italian food. Italian is like super warm, right? And this is what you usually need if you're around with kids. So I'm gonna tell you the name of the restaurant that I can re recommend by my own experience. Ugly Olio is the Italian restaurant that I can recommend. They really have good food, good recipes and um, nice service as well. That is important. If you're craving like classic American or maybe even neo-American food, uh, Food choice go to Stonewood Grill you won't be disappointed and if you're into Asian food go to lemongrass let's talk a little bit about future of Wellington Justin Timberlake and Tiger Woods will gonna have a hand in the new construction redevelopment project that will be called the Wellington as village of Wellington respects its uh, proud heritage a 600 acres luxury development plan for Wellington is also going to expand equestrian sports and experts on the matter said it could make the area the top equestrian destination in the country or even the world. The Wellington will reflect a similar design to Naxos Resort community in the Bahamas called Albany, which Woods and Timberlake are also involved in. Let's finally talk about real estate. So when it comes to Wellington, we are not talking about only square footage we're talking about acres this is probably the only spot that um we cover as a business that comes to my mind uh when people are looking to get the actual compound it is still possible to get it here so prices in wellington for single family homes starting at i would say 500 ish to up to the largest available listing now 27 and a half million dollars. There are definitely few kinds of communities that Wellington has to offer. 
and uh, it depends what you really like and how you would like to enjoy your free time. The um, equestrian club is one of the most famous, sure, for equestrian reasons. Also, there are quite a few communities that are going to be good for you if you're a golf um, lover. They offer in a private membership club. If you are a fan of aviation and happen to have your own airplane, don't worry, Wellington has you covered because here you can find some of the estates that are going to be uh, offering you your personal hangar. As I mentioned, Wellington is usually my, my top three destination for uh, family real estate purchases. I have um, a family has kids and also it is really large single family homes. They're almost impossible to find in Wellington the old built ho house because uh, it's a relatively new town. It's been built over the last 30 years, basically. So most of the real estate that you're gonna find here dates from like earlier 90s up to today's. Now we actually have uh, a couple of uh, new projects that are already uh, for sale. And if you're interested in thinking about relocation, contact me or like message me or leave a comment. I will be happy to share the details. I guess we are completing this Wellington tour. I hope it was helpful for you. And by the way, if you are looking for more city tours, I'm going to put some links up here and you can explore what Florida has to offer except Miami. If you like it, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. There are many more interesting videos to come.